point. So let's jump into the mass. Let's jump into the the cold, hard truths about this Hurricane Florence. And here we are at the Worldview map. We're here on September 10th, today's date. Before we get into this, I have to show you something so you actually understand what's really going on. So buckle up. This is going to be a rough ride. We're going to jump over here to climateviewer.org. And what we're looking at right here, we're looking at Earth and we're looking at the high frequency research. We're looking at isophonic heaters. We're looking at missile defense radars. We're looking at ELF, ULF, and VLF transmission sites. We're looking at large arrays, the EVLAs. We're looking at the low frequencies. And I want you to keep in mind right, right here, because I'm going to show you something that will blow your mind when we get back to the worldview map. But all these are used to control the weather. Now, just bear with me, because you got to understand they can steer these hurricanes. They can control them. They've been doing it for a long time. Let's jump over here to Climate Viewer News. You can jump over here and you can find the full history of hurricane modifications since 1947, like projects like Project Cirrus, Project Scud, Project Storm Fury, and the DHS Hurricane Modification Workshop, which we've talked about tons of times in previous videos. How about Hurricane Harvey cloud seeding explained and the USDA electrified water experiment. Hurricane Harvey map geoengineering and radioactive flood waters. Homeland security, they've been going to workshops to find out how to steer these hurricanes. I mean, they've been doing this since 1947. Battling the big, big ones. Project Storm Fury. I'm going to leave all these links so you guys can check this stuff out. Back in 2008, the Department of Homeland Security enters the weather modification business, thanks to Bill Gates. So you're, we're back over here on the worldview map. Now, what I want to show you is there's been a, a mass geoengineering project here off the coast of Dominican Republic. Let's go back so I can show you how they've been guiding the storm. We'll just start right here. So this is on September 7th. Here we are, Florence, way over there, and it was heading north. And they started this weather modification out here. When this clears up, you're going to see this weird color clouds, these dark colored clouds. These are particles that are being emitted from the airplane exhaust. They also have military C-130s out here spraying really heavy loads. And they're usually flying two and three abreast. We can see a couple here. Let me zoom in. I mean, you guys not might not be able to see this till it really clears up. I better let this load. But I'll just go up into a day. But you can see the different color clouds. So let's go up to the eighth. Now look at this. This was a mass spraying operation. I mean, there's no denying it. There's track after track after track planes are flying every which way as soon as they started spraying heavy the storm started heading south let's go up to the ninth and look here we are they're still spraying the storm look how thick some of these dispersions was and hopefully that's coming in clear enough for you guys you know I'm recording this in hd but my internet's pretty slow. Let's see if I can click the layer. Yeah, it'll take it a little while to load here. So we're still on the ninth here. I just clicked the base layer so that we can get a little time frame here. So you can kind of see how this is where they started. And this is a little bit later in the day. But what you notice is this spraying operation is moving to the north. And then we'll go up into today. And look where the spraying operation. Now the hurricane is going to start going right to where they are spraying this. Look, ladies and gentlemen, they are spraying us like bug. And that's what I'm trying to expose and trying to warn the people. Your weather is completely, it's all fabricated. They're doing this. They want this to hit the coast. You know, if it's 
turns at the last second is because they made it turn. Look, all the spraying is now creating a whole nother storm. So, yeah, why, why would they start spraying down here and slowly go up to the Florida, the bottom of Florida, and this now this hurricane is going to start turning up, following the path of the aerosol dispersions. Now, you watch tomorrow on, on 9-11, that spraying operation is going to be up here over Palm Jacksonville, Florida, this whole area. They're going to move this operation up because that's how they steer it. They also hit it with some of these tools they have down here. They have VLF transmitters. See, it's right where they started the chemtrail spring. They have a VLF transmitter down here and tons of NASA stuff. What's this thing here? We uh, forgot how to get to that, but these are all for weather modification purposes. NASA all over down here. So here you go. This is how they're going to steer the storm. They have, and this is just a small portion of what, what they have. They have the cooling towers. I mean, I can put them on here, but it'll just clog the whole map up. Now, we also watch them spray all the way from California, and then they started spraying days ago, all the way from the Baja, California, up to Texas, all the way up and around, where the mainstream media is calling this atmospheric river, this, this wall, the atmospheric wall. This is all from a massive spraying operation. I mean, we document. All you gotta do is go back and watch the last three or four videos. They are steering the atmospheric river. And I've already went over this in a couple of videos. Maybe we need to jump back over there again. So this company, Aquias, they, they're claiming they were able to steer the atmospheric rivers. They claim they've used this technology in Australia, Africa, and Texas, and it really works. Now, when we're talking about atmospheric river, we're talking about this. This is the mimic map. This is the number one resource to humans. They can steer this. They do steer it. Now, this, this modification is based on frequencies and al algorithms. It's just kind of a programming. But they launch the signals from the ground-based servers and adjust flight paths of weather systems. And they also use the ground-based systems. Now, I've gone over all this in, in pretty big detail before. And they're sitting here bragging about what they did in Texas. And, you know, they got rid of the drought within 30 days by steering this atmospheric river using the ground-based NEXRADs and the planes but i mean it, you go in here and then tons of bad stuff happened they freak storm drops four feet of hell but we need to get into other stuff so here we are we're at cyclocane.com and right now we're looking at florence current status the current wind speeds at 120 knots which is 140 miles an hour and it's going to go up to 155 i mean this thing's going to hit cat five there's no doubt about it they're completely controlling this another thing we're gonna have to watch is the next rads that's part of the weather program which i've done videos on that we're gonna get in real deep on them here pretty soon here is a map of all the different models i mean they're all relatively close but some of them have these things just bouncing around which we'll, we may go take a look at them but right here, here's, here's the main model, and this gives the time. So, you know, between Wednesday and Thursday, this thing's going to, everybody's going to start feeling the effects of this thing. Now, there's tons of people out there doing videos on all this part, but I'm trying to get the, the message out that these are man-made storms. These are man-controlled storms. And until everybody gets this through their head, and we all stand up and fight and get out of this, they're going to keep on 
controlling our weather. If if a certain country don't pay their bills, then they're not going to get no rain. They they just dry them out, or they're going to flood them out. You know, whatever you want to you want to call it. Now we're over here at the tropical tidbits. We just kind of rewind this. This one here has it coming in, kind of jogging around a little bit, going back down south, and then going back in for a second hit. Now this is going to be devastating the rain amounts. I mean, I had I showed you in the last video where all the nuclear plants, the old ancient falling apart nuclear plants are. We're going to have mega water, mega power outages and the floods are going to be the most deadly part of this, but this could definitely turn into something even far worse because they don't, they don't upkeep on the nuclear facilities. They shouldn't even have nuclear facilities. I mean, one, one false move and it's over. So here's another model we're looking at this model. I wonder if this is the one that has it bouncing around. Let me just click it. That one's just going straight in. And there's a bunch of nuclear facilities in there, too. All right, so let's check this model out, if my internet will work. Okay, as, as far as up as this one will go. Let's jump over here to the Earth Null School. Like I said, I'm going to leave all these links so you guys can research all this stuff because it needs to be done. Now, this whole thing was set up from... A week and a half ago when we found all these ship tracks in the big arrow over here in the Pacific and what that did is that made the jet stream go up and over the United States and then they took this atmospheric river and they just started spraying all the way up from the atmospheric river all the way up to Texas and just made a huge line a 10,000 mile long cloud now, all these storms are basically going to merge. There's another storm because they sprayed so much down here. It created a whole another storm, which is then going to feed more moisture in here. Let's take a look at the three-hour precipitation forecast. I'm just going to back this up a little bit. And then we'll go forward. There's going to be a lot of moisture for this thing to work with this check out the mean sea level pressure here's our total cloud water and that thing is just let me take that the wind off so we can see this a little better here's the atmospheric river we can see the rivers been pulled up it's all sucked up in here there's so much moisture for this to work with it's just ridiculous let's check the temperatures the relative humidity in the Cape. This is at the surface. This is the potential energy that this has to work with. Let's go ahead and check the ocean. Let's check the ocean heights. We click on that 40 feet. 38.7. Let me zoom in on your suite. Kind of see where 42.3. So if these waves are going to be 42 foot tall, what about high tide? What if the high tide comes in? All, along with storm surge, you got to figure storm surge and then these wave heights. I mean, come on. This is going to be catastrophic. All we can do is pray that we get this message out and catch them in the act and make them steer it away from the coast. That's the only thing that's going to stop this from being changing a lot of people's lives. Let's take a look at the atmospheric river. And what we're seeing is there's some kind of weird pulse right here where everything's in an arc. It's going to be coming right there. I see that arc, that wave of energy. And then we see this white means it's so high off the chart, it can't pick it up. It can't register it. So they're definitely manipulating something down here with all the the VLF and all them them antennas, all the antennas that they have down here, all the low frequency antennas, the high frequency antennas. 
you name it, they're probably using it right now. See, that thing just blows up where it can't even register. Same with that one. Let's take a look at this other super typhoon, Man Manhu. And it's right over Guam, just destroying Guam right now. But you want to know, over here, we have a mass spraying operation. They're steering this storm, too. We click the layer. They're, they're all in on it. All the governments are in on it. Either they're all having a weather war or the whole planet's weather system is ranked by one entity. But yeah, they want this to hit the Philippines. So, same thing in common with Florence. They have a mass spraying operation directly where they want it to go. Just more evidence to show you that our weather is being 100% fabricated. Now there's something I need to show you, something that I filmed on the way home. Let me get this squared up a little better. And if you don't think that we don't get targeted for getting this information out, take a look at this. Our racer here, strange thing going on right here. The sky's blue everywhere, but there's one big X right over my house. And then over here, if I can get to it, that thing was looking like a grim reaper a little bit ago. You think they're uh, trying to send me a message? They don't like what I'm talking about? The other weird thing is when I bought my property, we kept getting, you know, signs that we needed to buy this property. What's really weird is right there in the corner, is Mount Zion. Think about that. Go ahead. All right, guys. So there you go. There's your evidence for tonight of the weather control programs. Now, they don't like me doing this. I 